Welcome to lesson three of Kids Bible Study, Jesus Edition. My name is Miss Regine and I am your Bible study teacher. I hope you had a wonderful day and excited to get started with our lesson. Today, we're gonna to talk about Jesus's identity as a miracle worker. And we're gonna talk about what that identity means for friends of Jesus, just like you and I. Let's go ahead and get started and talk about what is a miracle. A miracle is when something that was impossible is made possible by God's love. I want you to circle that by God's love. That's really important for us who are friends of Jesus to remember that miracles are not magic tricks. Miracles don't come by way of potions. Miracles are things that were impossible being made possible by God's love. Miracles should always point us back to God and the fact that God loves us and loves people so much. Well, who is a miracle worker? A miracle worker is a friend of God who wants to share God's love with others. Every miracle worker receives the love of God into their hearts like a gift. And then their job is to pass on that gift to everyone who they meet. There are two types of miracle workers mentioned in the Bible. The first is Jesus. Jesus, the miracle worker. Jesus was a miracle worker because he always took the time to share God's love with others. In the first four books of the New Testament, in the section of the Bible that talks primarily about Jesus and his life and about the lives of the friends of Jesus, in those first four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible, there's over 37 miracles mentioned about Jesus alone. And in the whole Bible, in the whole book, there's over a hundred miracles. Those are moments where people are experiencing God's love. Jesus did so many miracles. We see there was a person who was born blind and all their lives they couldn't see. And as soon as they met with Jesus, instantly they were able to see again. There was a person who couldn't hear and then they met with God's love. Instantly, they were able to hear again. There was a person who was sick and instantly they met with Jesus. They were feeling so much better. Jesus did those miracles where people who were in a wheelchair and couldn't walk, they met with Jesus and instantly they were able to stand up and they were able to walk. Jesus, the miracle worker, every time people met with him instantly, just like that, they were able to see God's love change, transform their lives. So we said the Bible shares two types of miracle workers. One, first one is Jesus, who did all kinds of awesome miracles. And then the second type of miracle worker that the Bible talks about are people just like you and me. We can be miracle workers too. That's a benefit of being a friend of Jesus. Friends of Jesus have the power to partner with God to see miracles in our lives, and we have the power to partner with God and see miracles happen in the lives of others. Well, I know you might be thinking, Miss Regine, how can we be miracle workers like Jesus? How do we do it? Well, we can be miracle workers like Jesus by loving God. Doesn't that seem just so simple? <laughs> well, it is just that simple. So if you want to see miracle, if you want to see the impossible be made possible by God's love, then we need to know how do we love God? We love by listening and talking to God. So how do we talk and listen to God? We pray. And here at Kids Bible Study, we have a very simple way for you to pray. It's called the pray method, P-R-A-Y. P is to pause, R is to rejoice, A is to ask, and Y is to yield. We pause, we take a deep breath, and say hello to God by using one of the names of God. We R, we rejoice by telling God, thank you. And then we A, we ask God for whatever it is that we need for ourselves or for others. And then we Y, we yield, we listen to God so that in listening to God, we can obey and see a miracle. The second way to love God is by sharing God's love with others. That's exactly what our focus scripture on today from John 13 verse 34 reminds us to do. John chapter 13 and verse 34 says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Jesus is speaking there in that verse and reminds us that just like God loves us, we must love other people. And a way to love God and to be kind and nice to other people is to help them see a miracle. 
for us to pray and help them to see a miracle happen in their lives. Well, that brings us to our last point for today's lesson. Why is praying important for miracle workers? It's important to pray because there is power. There is power when we pray. I want you to write that down. There is power in prayer. Every time we talk and listen to God, there's power to instantly see God's love change our lives. And there's also power to instantly see God's love change the lives of others. So you want to know that one, two, three steps of sharing God's love by praying for a miracle for someone else? All right, here's the steps to seeing miracles happen in the lives of others so that they will know that God loves them so much. The first thing we do is we P-R-A-Y, we pray. Well, remember in the why, when we're listening to God, we want to take a moment to yield, to stop, and to listen to what God has to say about this person and about the miracle that we're asking for. Then we wanna follow God's instructions. That's it. It ends in people feeling God's love for them and seeing their lives instantly changed by God. Before I let you go to work on the activity and complete your Bible study time for today, I wanna to share with you a quick story. One of our kids' Bible study participants doing this same exact study as you. This Bible study participant is seven years old and his name is Rafa. Well, Rafa learned that Jesus is a miracle worker and that friends of Jesus are miracle workers too. So the next day, Rafa went to school and when he got to school, they were at recess. Well, recess was over and the teacher called for all the students in the class to get in line. And as Omar was getting off the playground, he hit his leg in one of the benches at the school recess playground. And Omar fell down to the ground. He was in so much pain. He had a cut on his leg because he had his shorts on at recess and he couldn't get up. Well, Rafa remembered that because Jesus is a miracle worker and he's a friend of Jesus and can partner with God to do miracles, Rafa prayed for Omar. Rafa told me, he said, God, thank you for loving the whole world. And just like you helped that kid who was in a wheelchair, get up from that wheelchair. God, I've paused, I've rejoiced. And now I ask, I ask you to heal Omar's leg and remove all the pain. And then Rafa told me he yielded. He stopped for a second and used his God ears to listen to God. And God showed him a picture. And Rafa said, soon as he saw that picture of a medical kit, instantly Omar got up and he had no pain and was able to walk back with the rest of the class. See, it is just that simple. When we talk and listen to God, people get to see the love of God and we get to experience more of God's love too. Rafa felt so excited and loved by God. And now his friend Omar also knows that God loves him enough to take away the pain and heal his knee. So I encourage you in the activity to read more stories of how Jesus prayed and God answered with miracles for other people. And then throughout this week, I want you to also look for ways to love God by praying and to love God by sharing God's love with other people, by praying for them to see a miracle. Don't forget today's takeaway. Love has the power to transform me and others. That word transform there means to change, to make better. Love has the power to transform me and others. Before I pray for you, don't forget our daily engagement homework exercises, where this week you'll get to read more stories about God's miracles. You'll get to read more stories about how people experience God's love through miracles. And there's also space every single day for you to P-R-A-Y, for you to pray for a miracle to happen in someone else's life. God of wonder beyond our galaxies, we thank you for the ways that you shine your love into our lives and into the lives of others. Lord, we ask on today that you would empower each and every one of us to partner with you to see miracles, to see your love change our lives and change the lives of others. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Yay! Well, I love you. Most importantly, God loves you. And I'll see you in our next lesson. Bye!